Hi everyone, my name is Vinayak and you are watching me on my channel Tarot Stock. So today's video is about the weekly pick a card read. That is, what do you need to know about your coming week of 15th to 21st of February. So pick a card with me and know. you need to know about your coming week of 15th to 21st of February. Pick a card left, right, center, one, two, or three. In the next frame, you will be shown a picture from the top where you can make the selection. So choose wisely. So now let's see if you choose the first pile or the left hand side pile or set of cards then what is it coming for you in this week of 15th to 21st of february so we'll look at the angel cards later and the very first card which comes here is the three of wands and this three of wands in this week is all about having a foresight having a feeling of expansion expanding your life your career your horizons your relationships and taking them to next level it seems that this week you are quite very much enthusiastic about how the things should be and how things should look like in the coming future and are very much dedicated and keen on making and developing that thing Three of Wands here is also about you planning to travel with respect to work especially or maybe traveling for your career purposes is also coming to be seen with this Three of Wands in this week. Now the second card that I have for you is the Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups is all about your emotions, your invitations or proposals or offers that you were expecting to come or there might be something that you must have not expected can also come in this week. So it's basically about you exploring the creative emotional side of yours. It could also mean that there can come a very good opportunity about which you should not be thinking much and jumping in following your heart. If your heart says that it is right, then you should be definitely jumping into it but with patience. This Knight of Cups is also a little bit emotional in this week. So you might feel your emotions coming to the surface, feeling a little bit more kind, a little bit more gentle, a little bit more romantic as well can be seen in this particular week. Now, you may also be a, or acting as a negotiator or someone who uh, soothes or calms the situation with their with their sensibility with their uh, warmth or with their uh, of how they handle the situation so this week knight of cups for you can bring in some good news or some positive offer that you were looking forward to now the third card that i have for you is the queen of cups which is the continuation of the knight of cups and this is about feeling loving, feeling the warmth and sensitivity, kindness and your intuition, your inner self seems to be much more connected in this week to you. You seem to be exploring the creative artistic side of yours and this could also mean that you might be daydreaming or you might be a little bit more imaginative about how the things should be like you're already doing it with the three of wands thinking about and imagining the things and that is getting much more or much more powerful with the queen of cups when it comes here so this queen of cups is also telling you that the way you treat yourself and others should be full of compassion and sympathy 
which seems and looks that you are doing in this week you are quite very much sympathetic empathetic and um compassionate towards people around you you might be feeling a little bit hurt in this week if someone or a hurt down there in your heart when someone says some hurtful words or comments and you but you might not show them you might keep them in you just because of being kind and being soft and being uh, sensitive and uh, warmth and loving so try not to do that if anything comes at pricks you then there has to be an emotion as according to the situation the situation demands you to have a give back of that pricking comment or that pricking thing then it can be done now what i have for you from the keepers of the light oracles is the juan of arc or voice of truth stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear of persecution and speak your truth so now this is again about you shouldn't be feeling shy or you shouldn't be feeling uh, trapped in how would people say how what what would people think what will they think of me how would they judge me no you have to stand with the truth in this week and this will bring you the blessings and the rewards from the angels so this week is encouraging you to stand for what is true for what you believe is true and you can see the blessings from the universe for being such a truthful soul that you will be in this week now the last card that i have for you from the angels of the light is uh, understanding so understanding your personality is a basis for understanding your spiritual self and your mission on earth so your angel guidance is to examine yourself and your current situation in depth so that you have a clear awareness of the underlying reasons of your challenges and situations this week is all about you getting into the root of the troubles or root of the situations that are around you knight of cups and the queen of cups making you more softer and when you get softer you get into what is happening in your life you will be more sympathizing towards your own self and also to others so this sense of understanding is coming for you with this card in this particular week what you can affirm is i seek an understanding of myself and my life see if you chose the second set of cards of the middle pile of cards then what is it coming for you in this week of 15th to 21st of february so we'll read the angel cards later let's see what do we i have for you the very first card as judgment so this judgment card can be bringing up various scenarios so take whatever resonates with you in this week or whenever you are watching the video what is the condition that you are in so the very first scenario which i'll talk about is either you or someone around you are being too much decisive about the situation so the others might be too much decisive about you and you can be a little bit more and harshly judgmental about others so it feels like that kind of a week in this um, coming 7 days now alternatively it could mean that either you are stuck in some situation and looking for a way out looking for some forgiveness to come in or some escape loophole to be there so there can be two possibilities if you have been truthful throughout then you can expect the um, things to fall into place according to your wishes or according or in your favor if you have been dishonest or not so truthful with the situation or with the scenario then it could mean that things can turn against you and you need to be careful about it third thing can also mean that you are feeling a little bit homesick or you might be um reminded of or you might feel like asking for forgiveness for something wrong that you might have done in the recent times 
So these were the different scenarios of this judgment card in here in this particular week. Now the second card which follows the judgment is the nine of swords and it's very much compatible to the judgment card because when you are being too much decisive or people are being too much decisive about you it can bring you anxiety it can bring you sleeplessness it can bring you uh, curiosity of how the things are going to be how the things should be taken forward so basically you can be thinking too much in this week about how your life is going being too much decisive about it either your life is going to slow that you can't that you can't wait for that pace or it's running too fast that you can't keep up with it and these two factors or these these respective factors can bring sort of curiosity and sort of anxious anxiety and anxious behavior and anxious mood about what is going to be how the things will work out and how are things going to be in your favor but the good news is the third card is the ace of wands and this brings you that positivity this brings you that joy that brings you that drive or that force that you need in this week will be coming through so it seems like in the initial days you might be sitting and thinking oh how it can be done oh why is it so slow yeah why is it so much uh, everything is running so fast that i cannot understand but that understanding and that keeping up with pace with the, will be coming with this ace of wands and you will be ready to take the action that is required ready to take the charge that is needed at this point of time in this week and it also feels that you might be taking up some new initiative new venture and starting over a new thing in your life so basically this is bringing that passion that enthusiasm that you might have lost because of this nine of swords scenario can be coming back with this ace of wands card you just need to be receptive to this burst of energy this burst of enthusiasm coming in you in this particular week now let's see what do i have for you from the keepers of the light and it is commander ashtar call to action take charge lead by example walk your talk so this card in particular is very much insignificant to the ace of wands and it is telling you that you have to take the lead of your own life in this week you can't sit back and be decisive and think that the things are not falling according to what you desired of you need to take action you need to make the changes that you want to see in the world or in your life this card is all about taking the action is all about taking the charge in your hand you may feel your ego trying to hold you back but know that when you take the first step next will soon arrive and you will see yourself walking rather than crawling so let's see what do i have for you from the angels of light and it is curiosity see life through the curious eyes of a child and you will discover a never ending source of happiness and excitement so it's good to be curious about how the things should be how the things shouldn't be but this curiosity shouldn't take toll over your peace of mind over your life be interested in people and you will discover an external source of fascination the radiance of your delight in life will illuminate you and will definitely be with the ace of wands in coming into your life in this particular week so the affirmation that can follow up is i explore the wonders of life so finally let's see if you chose the last set or the third pile of cards then what is it for you in this week of 15th to 21st of february we'll read the angel cards later and the very first card which comes is the 10 of swords mm. well nothing to worry about this 10 of swords is pertaining to a phase that the initial stages of this week where you feel a little bit low a little bit down and out of worn out of energy and not feeling like putting any effort in any situation especially your career front your work front your relationships 
and you might be feeling that i can't do it anymore it's too much and feelings and things like that can come up to the surface in the initial phases but this 10 of swords also brings a promise of sunrise or a promise of light getting back into this whole night of darkness so you can be rest assured that whatever the situation may be things will work out fine for sure and that seems to be happening in the next cards so the second card that i have for you is the lovers and this lovers is first initially about making a choice making a difficult choice we can say of either to choosing to stay in that misery and finding the comfort therein or making some strong positive efforts so that you can get out of it and bring back the sense of balance and harmony into your life so it can be about that balance that you are lacking right now in your life or in this week and also don't automatically go for the easy way choose the high way and you will get into the right direction you just need to take that one step ahead and this lovers can also be reflecting towards good business partnerships improving relationships improving the connections with oneself and with others as well cut <clears throat> here now the last card from the tarot which follows is the page of pentacles so this page of pentacles is all about the good news it's all about getting that sense of how to bring back the stability of how to take the situations here after so it's basically about good news especially in terms of your career especially in terms of money business education career and health as well so it can represent that uh, you might be on an initial phase of starting a new venture out or starting or laying some foundation or making the blueprint of what needs to be done or how you are going to be proceeding or planning about it so this is about you being responsible in this life um, in this week for your life and also ambitious so it could mean that in the initial phases thing might seem a little bit down a little a little bit low but as the week progresses you will find that sense of balance that sense of prosperity or that happiness getting back now the page of pentacles here is also about you waiting for something to come that can also be coming to you it can be specially uh, reflecting to those job proposals job offer letters that you were expecting to come in can be expected in this particular week now from the keepers of the light i have the shikina or the sacred self and the card reads unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythm of life so it's this card is all about not sitting back not sitting back and let your happiness get downtrodden get getting dampened or getting your spirit dampened it's it's a time to take some action take make some efforts and celebrate the life as it is because this this feeling this feeling can bring you that prosperity that you are looking for and this card also tells that you are going to pick up your energy the stern of swords face is not going to be too long you'll pick up the energy that is required and things will work out in your favor and you will again defy the ten of swords face you will again bring back the self of or the sense of yourself and things will work out for sure for you now i have uh, archangel shamul from the angels of light and basically this card is bringing you the healing or that energy that you require to move from this this to this phase so archangel shamul works on the pink ray of love and being blessed with this archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love 
let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones those you dislike and strangers this creates a bridge of light which can angels can move along to bring hope and peace so it's about also about seeing the light in the others bringing the love into the situation whatever the situation may be around you this this archangel shamul if you are calling in him he can bring you that sense of joy that sense of the sacred dance can come in and things can work out for you in this week so pick a card with me pick a card with me and no can signify you writing a rock bottom 